What's happening, audiophiles? Peter Von Panda here. I uh, got this ruined wireless headphones. Volume control with microphones, so you can definitely use them as um, headphones for taking a phone call. Bluetooth version, and uh, they're white, and they have memory foam in the cushions, which is kind of what I was really expecting, or kind of uh, excited about taking a look at. They do come in this white gold and the black gold, and I think I ordered in the white, which is why it's white here on the front, but I haven't uh, actually checked it out yet. So let's go ahead and open these up and just test them out. And there it is, they are the white. Yes, they come inside a plastic cover here. So really well packaged. Um, there are the headphones. Let's just pull this out and see what else we get. We get some instructions here, which I don't think I need as a real man. And then we get some cableage here as well. Cordage is what they'd say in the uh, survival world. Three and a half millimeter uh, headphones. And uh, looks like we have an inline mic as well as a mode button, a function button there. Then we also have micro USB cables, so that's pretty cool. And I think these are going to be quite helpful. I've got a specific need that I need headphones on. And I like the fact that not only are they Bluetooth, but they can also be wired. So first of all, I'm going to show you here that they obviously package up very nicely. And they do have kind of this champagne color. I guess we call it gold, but it's like a champagne. It's actually really nice. It's it's almost like a bronze silver. Um, you know, I went for the white gold. Um, I did it because it was kind of a little bit different than the things I've normally gotten. And man, I, I think this looks great. It's got a really kind of a matte sheen to it. Really cool looking. Um, they're actually pretty light. They're, they're really light, I should say. Um, this, you know, it's all plastic construction as far as I can tell. There's probably a metal band in there. But as you can see, you know, plastic makes it really light. We've got these gold, these are definitely more kind of a brighter bronze gold, uh, I guess they call them white gold or something, you know, shells, grids on the side, and we have um, a metal mesh in there, or plastic mesh probably, and uh, that's reflected on both sides. I like this kind of kick out here, very, very stylish. And you can see on the inside here, we have um, extending arms, and that looks like plastic, and then you can see the metal backbone on them. Good do little detents. Nice resistance there so you can do some fine adjustments. We have a pretty squishy top uh, bar here and I feel like there's foam in here. Sometimes these are just a skin and they're just kind of meant to rust in your head but there's definitely it's like some foam in there. That feels like memory foam in there as well. And then we have a white band down here which is plastic and then uh, right and left embroidered on the, the covers of the speakers and then the foam here and you can definitely feel the foam I guess I don't like I don't know I feel like memory foam doesn't bounce back very fast but this definitely could be it's since it's a very small amount of memory foam maybe it just uh, reacts a little quicker they definitely are very foamy and and thick and feel good uh, very much a white pleather I just think a pretty clean looking set of headphones and the right and left so this 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 is the forward direction here now I want to see where are the controls we have the three and a half millimeter headphone jack there the micro USB Port there looks like we have right here uh, I'm trying to figure out which way well, I guess this would be up uh, power button play pause answer the phone these are all in like a gold tone volume up or fast forward and rewind or volume down fast forward and rewind and then we have an equalizer button here which is actually kind of unique so it seems like I can scroll through some different um, you know music tones and then it looks like we have an SD card there too which is actually pretty clever as well and then I think one of these would be the microphone and one of these would be uh, LED. And that obviously is the one. So I powered it on there, we're in flashing, so we should be in pairing mode. I'm gonna pair these up, listen to some stuff, and tell you what I think. All right, so I tell you what, I've been listening to these headphones and some different music, and they're kind of making me mad, but in a good way. So um, it's kind of making me mad with other headphones, I'll be really honest. Um, so I was, I was listening to these, got them paired up, and uh, they're really comfortable. They're not that big. They're they're over the ear for sure because I have kind of small ears uh, But you know for some of you they might be just on the ear. I think they look pretty good. You know this color combo isn't necessarily uh, Super flattering to me <laughs> like but I, I kind of like how uh, You know kind of bold they are, you know, you see everyone with their beads and you're like hey I want to have some bold headphones, too, but um, a couple things that I really like about them first of all the controls um, the one thing I probably don't is that in this case the controls are on the left side Which is not normally like the most the most natural thing for me to to reach for I was always I was reaching up here and I was like, oh, they're over here But that 
being said, they're on the front, and so they're actually really easy to reach. And what I do like is that the volume rockers are tap for changing the volume. I hate when they're the hold down for the changing the volume because, you know, when I want a volume change, I want it right now. So, uh, you know, especially if you put them on there too loud, you can quick tap, and that works no problem. Uh, they also paired fine, no issues there. Now, <laughs> what's making me mad, and mad at other headphones, not these, I really like these, uh, is that you know, for, well, let's call them a fairly inexpensive set of headphones, you know, this button right here, the one where we have that equalizer function, is something every pair of headphones should have. Because as I'm going through it, I'm realizing, man, there are so many ways to equalize the sound. And as I'm listening to different music, you know, they definitely, I'm not sure what the modes are, but there's definitely kind of like hallway, orchestra, rock, jazz, voice. You know, there's some uh, modes that the, 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 the vocals are really pronounced and there's not a lot of bass. There's some that are just really robust across the board. There's some where the bass is just thumping. Um, and you can really kind of dial it in depending on what songs you're listening to. I listen to a little Peter Cetera, then I listen to a little Gangsta Grass, then I listen to um, Black Men United, and you know, really different songs. And as you scroll through the modes, the equalizer modes, and there are a number of them, I'm not exactly sure how many there are, you can really kind of dial it into a delivery that is really perfect for you. And now it kind of makes me angry that why don't other headphones have the equalizer mode? I mean, maybe you don't need to change it for everything. Maybe just like in my car, I just have it set to rock and I just leave it there. But man, it's great, you know, and for a lot of us that use headphones for not only music, but different types of music, eclectic taste, but also podcasts or radio or phone call, um, maybe you just don't want a lot of bass in some stuff. You want more of the vocal um, or kind of more of the treble and, you know, be able to hone in on what people are saying. Anyway, uh, I think these are really great. Uh, you know, I kind of got them for the style, but I will tell you that, man, uh, they are really, really pleasant to use. And I think they look good. And I will also say that, man, that feature is fantastic. Fantastic. So anyway, I'm gonna put a link to these in the description so you can pick these up if you wanna, but man, I'm really, really digging these. Uh, much happier and uh, much more surprised about these than I thought I was gonna be. So check them out. Peter Von Panda, out.